I go anywhere, anywhere with you Cause you feel my mind Oh, you feel my mind We could build a dream Start up something new Let the old be dead Let the shadows be my head When the world is on your shoulders And you feel like falling over Just come a little closer I'll be there for you, I'll be there for you Cause when we are together I know you feel the tension Just let me in so I can be there for you, there for you The night is young Won't you sing for me? Won't you sing for me? Wick, thank you very asleep. much for receiving us here And before we get into this massive house Tell me a little bit about Southwest Ranches Because it's the first time myself I'm, I'm here for three years now I never heard about it So the first time I'm knowing this community Tell me a little bit more about it. With pleasure. Okay, well, Southwest Ranches was incorporated in the year 2000. It was an amalgamation of several small communities within Broward County that wanted their own identity. Okay. They didn't want to be part of Weston okay. or Davie or the surrounding areas. And it's a, it had a very unique identity. People that come to the ranches are looking for space. They're looking for privacy. They're looking for a friendly neighborhood that uh, people just know each other okay. and they can be separated from the neighbors and they can get together with some of the parks and the foundations, the events that happen within the town. Okay. We're also part of a very good school district out here, one of the best in the state. Um, our tax base is one of the lowest tax bases in the county. Oh, that's very good. Yeah, it's good to know. And um, it's a great place to live. I live here myself. Okay. In fact, I lived in the Weston community. It's just located to the north of here. Okay. I came here personally with my family because I thought it was a great place to raise my children. Uh, they were able to ride horses. We were able to have land. We had privacy. I could throw my dog her ball without it landing in the neighbor's yard. Yes, yes. So it, it, it's just a wonderful place to raise a family and to have your own private paradise. And Landmark. Landmark uh, is the... So Landmark is, is an enclave within Southwest Ranches. Okay. So when I came to the ranches, I said, this is beautiful. However, what if I don't want to live next to a house that was built in 1970? Okay. Or I don't like the way this guy has his mobile home parked in front of his home. Well, Landmark was designed to have all new custom homes they're all on two and a half to five acre properties. It's a gated community. It's the only gated community in Southwest Ranches. And that has a second layer of gates that each home is individually gated. Okay. So you have a second layer of, of privacy, a second layer of security, and it encompasses, you're a part of the community of Landmark with 44 custom homes, and then you have your own private paradise for your own home. That's very nice. And uh, the people that live here both in Southwest uh, Ranches and Landmark are people high profile that are seeking to be low profile. That's exactly correct. Yes, we have many people here and of course we don't disclose names of our people here, but the people can come here for the privacy, they come here for the security and like you said to play down who they are and really enjoy their family, they, they enjoy their community. Uh, like I said, it's a very friendly neighborhood, but you are also have your privacy. So when you want to socialize, no problem at all. There's plenty of people to get to know here. If you, but if you want to be in your own private community, you close your gates and you enjoy your family and your friends and your own paradise. And uh, in terms of geography, how far are we from the beaches and uh, the the? The, the air airplane uh, airports and we, you have an airstrip around okay. here because people who live here maybe they have their own plans. That's correct. Well, we, we like to say we're 20 minutes from everywhere. Okay. We're 20 minutes from Fort Lauderdale. We're 20 minutes from Miami. You jump on the Sagres, you're 20 minutes from Boca Raton. Okay. So we are not that far from uh, uh, that kind of of uh, lifestyle. Correct. So if you wanna be there. You're just 20 minutes away. Go to Miami, have a dinner in South Beach, be home in 20 minutes. Yeah, but when you are here, you don't even remember you are in South Florida because it's so quiet and nice. Well, that's the thing about Landmark Ranch is it's very unique. You don't find this product with 44 custom homes together in a gated community in Broward County. It's just not available. So if you want to live central in South Florida, and Broward County is smacks central of South Florida, 
you get the best of everything. You get the best of the south of Miami and the fun and the the nightlife and the, the wonderful beaches. You get the best of Fort Lauderdale again with great restaurants, La Solis Boulevard. It's just a great place to walk up and down the streets at night. You get Boca Raton, but then you get to come home. Exactly. And you get away from that. And it's quiet. And depending how deep is your pocket, you can just do that commuting on a helicopter. You could. <laughs> you could. We actually have people that uh, do some very interesting commutes. That's very nice. Yeah. So, it's so let's go inside and look at this house because it's just crazy. Well, thank you. Welcome to the Azoria and let's take a tour. Thank you very much. So, Rick, um, we have a lot to talk about. Yes, 11,000 square feet. Tell me a little bit about this house. A, a little bit about this house. All right, so the, the concept that Mitch Kuna came up with for this home was to create something that is family friendly, has the important elements that you would want in a typical landmark ranch estate, luxury custom estate, um, and have some impact, but also flow very nicely for the family when you live there. Because after all, we are building homes. We're not, yes. we're not building museums. Exactly, and with 11,000 square feet under air, it's very difficult to get creative and to put the, the areas where they should be and you don't be overwhelmed with a few areas like building a house this size with so many bedrooms that you don't occupy all the bedrooms but you don't have any living area. Well, exactly. So this was designed to meet this particular market. And this particular market, typically a six bedroom, six full bath, a couple of common half baths, powder rooms for the, for the company is what generally people want in this community. One of the important things that we like to have here is impact, and the impact of this room is this club area. Yeah. You can see by the two flanking fireplaces, the billiard area, club area here with the flanking wine rooms. We have one for white wine, one for red wine. That's crazy. Uh, it's very nice. And then it goes through to a living area, a dining area, and it has this very open but comfortable feel. It's not overwhelming, but it has a lot of impact. And knowing the market is important to do a good project. Uh, I noticed that the master bedroom is in the first floor. Correct. And in Miami and in areas near the, um, the water, they always try to put it on the second floor facing the water. Why here is in the first floor? Okay, well you, you kind of just said it. When you're on the water and you're paying a massive, massive premium for being waterfront, uh, you want to see. So you want to get as high as you can to see as far as you can into that water. You want to see over your neighbors, over your bushes, over your, your pool. It's the opposite here. Okay. Here you want to be part of your land. You don't want to be walking up and down your stairs every time you want to go to your bedroom. Now for the children. Or the kitchen. Or, yeah, yeah. the kitchen, to, you know, to go to the theater, to your office. Uh, children, no problem. They're on the other side of the home, it's yeah. separate. But you have your private space on this side of the home. So the privacy aspect of it is probably the most important, more than being on a second floor. Uh, it's the convenience of being on the first floor. And that is our demand. From our experience, that is what our buyers prefer for the master wing. And we have six bed, six full ensuite. Correct. Two powder rooms. That's correct. A bar with double um, um, wine cellars. Um, a a massive kitchen. Don't forget the movie theater. The movie theater. The private office. The office. Yeah, it goes on and on. And that's very nice. So let's take a tour and show a little bit of this house for everybody. Absolutely. So Rick, let's start here. For me, this is the favorite area. I would be here all the time. Yeah, so this is the club area. And as I mentioned before, this is the the heart of the home. This is where you bring your friends to entertain. You grab your bottle of wine, whether it's white in your conditioned wine room or your red conditioned wine. Uh, you have your ice makers, your refrigerators, plenty of storage, custom-built wood cabinets, waterfall, 
onyx top. Uh, this whole room is designed, again, as a club area where it's meant to socialize. We have your custom-built pool table by Brant Billiards, one of the last craftsmen in the country that can actually, is capable of building the perfect table. The fireplaces, they're amazing. Yeah. You know, I have to talk a little bit about them. They weigh about 30,000 pounds each. Solid concrete, there's almost as much concrete underneath the ground as above the ground to support these babies. That's great. They're, uh, they're made with Dominican limestone finish and mahogany panels above. And we can walk that way and see how fluid the, uh, the architecture is because you live the bar area and you have the pool and here you'll have a, a living area which is gorgeous because you have the entrance of the house, the living area and here we have a very nice opening to the backyard where you have a very nice pool that I guess that uh, gets sun during all day long. All day long because it is a southern exposure. Yeah. So the sun rises in the east, rotates to the west, but you'll see it's always in the sun. Always in the sun. The home was actually designed with the idea of the front. You come through the gates, you have a beautiful fountain in the front, the water, and then it flows through the home and back out the back. Have a similar balanced architecture on the back side. As we walk this way, we have here um, barbecue area, uh, TV area, and this massive kitchen with this crazy good. Also. That's correct. This this area is for when the family wants to just relax and enjoy their their own little private space. It's, the, the kitchen is amazing. The center island is magnificent. One of the largest islands we've ever built. Uh, we have a kosher ready kitchen where you have two refrigerators, four freezers, two dishwashers, two separate sinks, uh, and it's just an amazing chef's kitchen. We have Wolf appliances, Sub-Zero appliances, all the best state-of-the-art accoutrements uh, that you would want in this type of home. And the entertainment doesn't stop there. We still have this 8 seat, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 seat movie theater. That's exactly correct. And the theater is uh, pretty much state of the art. It's totally acoustically uh, designed. All your speakers are set within the wall panels. It projects from behind the screen itself. The projector, you'll notice, is not hanging down from the ceiling. It's built into its own compartment. And uh, it's designed for your lounging areas. If you want to have just an area where you uh, sit in your bar stool and do your, your, your daily work, you can just plug into your USB port, put your laptop down and uh, watch some sp local sports and uh, get your work done at the same time. So it could also be your home office. However, we have a beautiful office right next door as well. Okay, so we still have an office. Four, three bedrooms, a guest bedroom and the master. And the uh, staff quarters as well. So let's take a look on the guest bedroom and the master because the master is just out of this world. That's, that's the creme de la creme. Let's go there. Besides the massive first floor, we have the second floor where the kids can make all the noise they want and nobody gonna be um, bothered with that. That's correct. What we did here was we created a lounge that has an area for a sitting area, a, a game table, you see your TV, has a refrigerator, sink, so it's, it's, it's a contained area for the kids to play, out of the way of everyone else. They have an amazing balcony that they can go out onto that overlooks the entire property. There are also three bedrooms for the children upstairs, okay. and then a guest suite that's amazing. Master suite is something that I never seen before. As I told you, I always see the master suite on the second floor, and here you have the master suite integrated with the, the ground floor and the backyard, which is just beautiful. And look at this. It's really something to behold. Just the fact that you can wake up in the morning, open your sliding glass doors, and walk out into your amazing pool area and just enjoy your, your little paradise out back. 
Uh, it's one of the best features of the home, obviously. Uh, the finishes are amazing. And wait till you see that uh, $200,000 bathroom. This bathroom could not be better to suit this house. Just the bathroom alone costs $200,000. That's a small apartment in Miami area, a one bedroom in Miami area. And tell me what is the most strange thing about this bathroom or the, the most curious about this massive bathroom. Well, I think some of the features you'll see in here is the obvious one is, is our bathtub. This is created out of one solid block of granite. It weighs about 3,000 pounds and it's carved into what looks like a half of a dinosaur egg and carved out into a beautiful tub. Uh, the tub itself is about $30,000 installed uh, and that's kind of the focal point when you walk into this room. However, behind it we have a beautiful steam shower and it's one of the largest you're going to find around. It has a very, very large oversized steam generator that can accommodate such a large room. It has your body sprays, your body um, shower bar, and it, again, is part of this impact as you walk into the, the room. Uh, we have floating vanities with your, uh, your wrapped marble tops, your glass tile backsplashes, mirrors and medicine caps, cabinets that are just incredible. Individualized toilet compartments, your electronic bidet toilets, and then of course you walk into, you're talking about small apartments being a, fitting into the budget here. We have a closet the size of a small apartment for just one of the two closets. Yeah, so as our final destination, let's see those closets, which in fact someone thought it was a little bit small. Go figure. Go figure. This is a 500 square feet closet. That's correct. 500 square feet, which I thought was pretty amazing. I had a client. Now this is the funny part about building custom homes, which we always accommodate what the clients want, that wants something twice the size. Okay. So no problem. We'll just put a second floor on and you can have a thousand square feet. The next house, make sure you build 1500 square feet. That's, that's the goal. Rick, thank you very much for showing this. I think it was the most amazing house I've seen here in South Florida. Thanks for the compliment. It's been a real pleasure. Thank you very much and congratulations.